Who's got... Knock, knock. Who's there? We all know what a door is, right? A door is something you can go through, you can go in, or you can go out. Today's episode deals with the phenomenon called the green door. Cam, it should work better than this. Come on. This is a test. Test. Hello. Hello. Is there frequency? the other day for my tip line but I did not film it I got the message and I think what I will do right now instead is reenact it so you ready <laughs> The green door. The green door. Yeah. Now you think there's one a few hundred miles from here? Ah, yeah, I can take that on. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Perfect. So it's the sensation you get when you walk through a door that I'm interested in. Now we know what it's like to walk in and out of our houses. We know what it's like to walk in and out of um, a grocery store. Uh, oh, the only difference sometimes is that there would be a revolving door or something, but the green door opens and shuts and you can go in it and you can come out of it. I'm interested in investigating this because I have never seen a green door before. All right, here I am. I'm off of Highway 61 in the North Country. I've been tipped about this structure over here. It claims to be a liquor store, but it's called the Green Door. Now some people have theories about windows, but those are things you have to crawl through. The thing about the door, and especially the Green Door, is that I think it's a porthole. A portal to the unknown. just right outside of a town called Sliver Bay and I found out that the reason why they called it Sliver Bay is because there used to be a logging camp here many years ago and the legend has it that the lumberjacks used to say they couldn't get through the day cutting down the wood up here without getting slivers so then uh, they decided to call the area Sliver Bay. 
as I've been um, scanning this place today, I've noticed that some vehicles do show up and some figures get out and then they go through the green door. And so the reason why I came here was because there's um, an opinion going around that this building acts as a porthole for um, shapeshifters and aliens. So this is their station where they leave the planet and they enter the planet. And they figure this is an ideal spot, being that it was in this more remote location, and then they can traverse into the population and barely be recognized or noticed. <laughs> I'm being uh, especially cautious about wanting to integrate myself too soon into this type of uh, researching this. I haven't done aliens enough to like understand how they might react if they see that I am uh, in their midst. So I'm laying back. I'm just going to be kind of scoping the place. One thing I was told to look for were these symbols that would be on the building and they appear to be uh, animals or rodents that are made to look like Freddie Mercury and holding like a mug of beer and to me it sort of seemed yeah that's sort of odd and so the oddness of all this I think makes us uh, more apparent of uh, being that this is probably exactly what I was hoping it would be. It looks like I've been here a little over two hours and I haven't seen a lot of people come out. I've seen them go in, but I haven't seen anyone come out. So this also backs up my theory that um, most of these figures are shape-shifting and um, leaving this planet. Here. I came here because I'm searching for aliens. I use this portal all the time. Can you tell me what it's like going in that door? There are flashes of light and then darkness. Well, it was good to see you again, Ken. These aren't aliens. They even got their own helmets and they got their uh, lunar rovers. All right, so I've been here about 12 hours. I've seen, I think, everything I want to see for now, but I'm pretty sure I'll be returning. Um, I think what I'll be doing when I get back to my office is do a recap and a final thought on all this. But uh, yeah, I was out here about 12 hours today. Well, there's really something about being in the logging country and seeing the green door for my first time. And I came away from there with a sense of awe and a sense of discovery. And um, I hope to go back there again sometime.
system, everything.